Good morning, Rangers. I'm Donovan Murphy. And I'm Aaron Rodriguez. And this is your Ranger Report for February 8th. Comal School trustees called for a $263.5 million bond election last night. If approved by voters, the bond will pay for a $1,500 student capacity high school and a $2,500 student capacity high school as well as the design work for an elementary school to be in, built in the future. The bond is meant to relieve overcrowding at Smithson Valley High School and Canyon High School. Here, Lauren and James will break down the possible board action considered by the board. Studies show that Comel ISD gains approximately 800 new students each year and is recognized as one of the fastest growing districts of its size in Texas. Due to this immense growth, members of the school board have proposed four possible bond scenarios which will be used to accommodate for the rapid growth. So the hallways are always really crowded and you can't get anywhere? It's hard to get around to your classes. Sometimes you know you can't go to the restroom or it just takes longer in general to get to your Class, you might miss some. Like parking in Africa. Africa is really far away and you have to park so far because there's so many kids that go so here. So getting through the halls is like trying to get to the subway in Shanghai. A new high school in the long run is the best thing for the district uh, based on the growth. But frankly, the truth of the matter is if, if we don't have new schools for the future, then we will somehow have to uh, have additional portables. Now, the thing about portables is that we need land to do add portables. Mm -hmm. And Smithson Valley High School, for example, we're landlocked here. And as a result of that, there's only a certain number of portables we can put here at Smithson Valley High School. The first scenario is estimated to cost around $262 million. This bond will provide funding for two new high schools, design work for a new elementary school, as well as funding for land, bus, and maintenance projects. The bond would have no impact on tax rates. The second option comes in about $333 million. It provides funding for two new high schools and elementary schools, along with land, bus, and maintenance projects. The bond would have a three cent impact on the tax rate. However, the earliest elementary schools could not open until 2022. The third scenario requires $124 million in order to provide funding for a new high school and land and bus maintenance projects. The bond would convert Smithson Valley Middle School into a ninth grade center. The bond would have no impact on the tax rate, however the new high school would not be built for the area south of the 281. The bond would also require an increase in staff. The last bond option is the cheapest, costing about $15 million. It will only provide funding for land, bus, and maintenance projects. There will be no funding for new schools, and it would require redrawing high school and middle school attendance boundaries. The bond also requires 18 portable classrooms at Canyon Lake High School and an increased transportation cost up to $600,000. I'm James Lampson. And I'm Lauren Cralo. And thanks for joining us as we review the possible bond options for 2017. The election is scheduled for May 6th. For more information, log on to valleyventana.org for a more in-depth report by the media team. All who plan to try out for cheer need to attend a mandatory trial meeting February 15th at 6 p.m. in the SVHS library. A parent or legal guardian must attend the meeting. Attention sophomores and juniors interested in being in facts next year. You can pick up an application in C-106 or during the lunch in the rotunda. You must pick up the application in person Applications are due Tuesday, February 21st by 8.30 a.m. No late applications will be accepted. Applications will be handed out Monday, February 13th through Friday, February 17th. Now over to Liam with sports. What's up, Ranger sports fans? Girls soccer took a win against Canyon with a final score of 3-0. Caitlin Bumgarner scored two goals and Caitlin Smith scored one goal. Girls soccer is now 9-3. Boys soccer also beat Canyon 3-1 and have a game coming up on the 10th versus Judson. Boys basketball lost to Canyon yesterday, and girls basketball also lost a really hard-fought game versus Canyon to close out the season. Now to over to Emily with World. Thanks, Liam. Last night, an obscure rule was used by Republican senators to shut down a speech by Senator Elizabeth Warren. Republicans saw an issue when Warren qu quoted a letter written by the late Crota Scott King and the late Senator Edward Kennedy. King's letter accused Sessions of racial bias. 
What is known as Rule 19 was used to silence Senator Warren and is now being viewed as controversial. 13,000 people were hanged in secret at a Syrian prison, Amnesty claims. This human rights group says they may have been executed and part of a hidden campaign. Amnesty reported that prisoners are moved in the middle of the night to their cells and then hanged. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Emily. Hey, Donna. What? So why can't dinosaurs talk? I don't know why. Because they're all dead. I'm Donovan Murphy. And I'm Aaron Rodriguez. Have a Ranger of a day.